So I'm about to go pop out and do this video for y'all on um on flat lines. Let y'all know that shit is bullshit and to fix y'all perspective on that. It's a lot of niggas that's gonna get on YouTube and make up bullshit and lie for their own personal gain. I'm not here for that. And by the way, make sure you subscribe to the Patreon. Or now I post videos that will not make YouTube because they too raw, cutthroat, and rated all type shit. You feel me? Shit that's going to cut deep. Next level, everything. Whatever video I post that I feel like is too next level and too raw, it won't make YouTube and it's going to be on my motherfucking Patreon. All my best shit is going to be on my Patreon because I appreciate everybody coming out they pocket to fuck with the G. So if you want to fuck with the G on the next level and get to know Coach Davis on the next level, for real, connect with Coach Davis on that level, go click the link, Um, click the link in my description at the bottom, and it's 11, 11 a month for the raw shit show ever hear about my life, life in general, and everything. So I'm about to pop out. Salute to the G's that's going to invest. You feel me? I appreciate y'all. And yeah, let's talk about these flat lines, man. Sloop. All right. So they say flat lines. You know, y'all probably wondering what are flat lines if you don't know. Some shit that people on YouTube is claiming that you get. Or you've been on senior retention for a long enough amount of time, a certain amount of days. They say it varies depending on the person, this, that, and the third. The way you lose drive, motivation, and maybe some woman attraction and shit like that. That's bullshit. You know what I believe? Niggas be lying, first of all. Relapsing on the low. And they hit niggas with the semen retention is a lifestyle. I don't trust niggas that say that shit. I want to know what fucking day you on, nigga. Nah, I've been on semen retention for this amount of months or this amount of years. Nah, how many days specifically have you been on semen retention? Because what's the big deal with telling niggas your days? By the way, day 114, live from day 114. What's so hard about telling niggas that? What's so hard with keeping up with your days? And first of all, if you feeling like you not feeling the motivation and the drive and you losing woman attraction, first of all, that's all in your head. And second of all, nigga, check your diet, bro. Are you drinking enough water? Are you active? Are you working out every day? Because if you go to the store at GameStop and you buy you a video game, how else can you enjoy the video game if you don't play it? How else can you enjoy your benefits if you're not using it to be better? Because a lot of motherfuckers that is on semen retention, they, they, they ain't been trying to better themselves, bro. They ain't been trying to better themselves. They just been addicted to porn. <sighs> Feel what I'm saying? They, they was never really getting into nothing productive. So now niggas think, oh, I could retain my seed. Everything is just gonna come to me. That's not how life work, bro. If you're not gonna put in the work, you're not gonna reap the benefits even if you're doing the right thing. You still gotta put in the footwork. You may not be used to needing less sleep. You may not be used to having all of the energy. You just may not be used to it. Your body is adapted. First of all, most people don't even drink a gallon of water a day. That right there is a bad move. I keep a gallon on deck. So if you ever feeling like you lazy and you don't want to do nothing. First of all, that is a fucking mentality. That is in your fucking head. First of all, there's nothing in life. Nothing. Including semen retention. That's just going to do the work for you. Nothing. Because even to be on semen retention, it takes for you to do what? Not ejaculate. Hold your seed. Not watch porn. This is all manual. Semen retention is not auto, it's on manual. So if you're not manually doing shit, then nothing will automatically happen. Let me say that again, if you're not manually doing anything, then nothing will automatically happen. That's not how life works. Well, it's gonna pop out, go do this video, but I'm still in the crib, nigga. I gotta go nowhere to do this shit.
Listen, man. I'm about to go give me a chopped cheese, too. I need one of those. Do your push-ups every day. Stop looking at porn. Stop playing the video game all day. Check your screen time on your phone and get the fuck off your phone. And do push-ups all day. You're going to feel the benefits. Let that shit flow throughout your body, man. Use that testosterone and, and get that push-up money, bro. Get some push-up money. Davis, how do, you differ how do you differentiate who's real and who's not on retention so I know who to get information from? Well, I'm going to tell you how I would do it and how I was doing it when I was, you know, when I was watching channels. Now I'm not watching no channels, but... Niggas, that's going to tell you what day they on. First of all, you got to think about this whole YouTube shit as a process. I'm making the video. Then I got to put the video together. Then I got to go on my channel and I got to upload it. Wait for it to upload. Give it a title. Give it my description. Then normally I pin a comment. So for a person that's going to do all of that and tell you what day they on, they official. The niggas that's not going to tell you what day they on because it's a lifestyle they are on some sneaky shit behind the scenes. They on this shit because it's, it look good to be inspiring niggas and, you know, to tell bitches that they're inspiring niggas. And uh, uh, some niggas is just doing it for their own personal gain. I'm not. I don't do nothing for my own personal gain besides doing my push-ups and, and shit like that. Even this, uh, technically, I mean, I guess I am doing this for my own personal gain because it makes me feel good to know that I'm uplifting men all over the world to be their greatest versions and to be their best self. And I got people taking the time out they like to make YouTube videos about me to try to get people to not watch my videos, but yet all he's really doing and people that do that shit, all they doing is helping people go to my channel so that they can build their own perspective. Dumbass. Niggas is gonna go see it for they self. If you a real nigga, and somebody talking down on somebody, you as a man, you supposed to go to that nigga channel and you supposed to watch the whole video from the full length and see it for yourself. Now watch another man put his own spin on this shit. A nigga that don't even show his face on, on YouTube. That nigga is pussy. Any nigga that do that shit is pussy. Same nigga I have in the yoke and slam that stupid ass pussy nigga. Niggas like that, I ain't even worried about G. You feel me? A lot of these YouTube niggas is suspect and lame. I'm really real for real. And yo know if you want a Patreon and you know if you've been on my channel long enough that I'm in this shit for the long haul to really help motherfuckers and G's all over the world be their best versions and tell y'all the raw truth. Just be relapsing on the low. They just don't want to tell you. That's why they, they came up with a flat line to where you, you might ask them like, yo, you look like you low energy or what day you on or... Shit like that, and they could just say they going through a flatline stage. And then they put it in everybody else's brain to claim that they in a flatline stage. Why are you even promoting some dickhead dumb shit like a fucking flatline? You promoting men to believe in, in that that's supposed to happen, to not be driven. and That's all mental to believe that shit, bro. That's all mental. Everything is mental as men. We are in control of our lives. We, it is our responsibility to be in control of our lives at all times. No matter if you do wake up low energy. Nigga, I got my alarm clock set at 3 in the morning. I wake up at 3 in the morning and I hit push-ups, nigga. You get choices. You ain't got no fucking inspiration. Why not? You don't want to be great? You don't want to retain? You don't want to be your best self, the nigga that's your fucking choice. But don't be out here trying to tell niggas about no flatline. <laughs> you don't take the same retention shit seriously, that's on you. People that's on here and got ill intentions, they not going to last. They going to disappear. Or you going to be able to see through them niggas because they think they can get on the camera, say shit a certain way, do shit a certain way. And like niggas ain't going to be able to see through that shit. Fuck it, I mean, hey. It just make it make it better for niggas like me on YouTube, for niggas to watch them and then come and watch me, and they'll be able to see a very big difference. A very big difference. It's not even debatable with a lot of these niggas on this YouTube shit acting lame as hell, man. But listen, I'm going to end the video off like that because I'm about to go pop out and go get me a chopped cheese and hit these motherfucking push-ups. I got some great videos on my Patreon I want the G's to go fuck with.
If you fuck with me, I know everybody is on my channel for one reason, because they fuck with me for real, the raw, authentic me that I've been since day one on this YouTube shit. So if you want me more raw and authentic, you know, this channel is, is rated M. My channel, my Patreon shit is rated R. And it's raw as fuck. Very cut though. You know what I'm saying? Some raw shit on there. I'm talking some real life shit and it's always gonna be like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I appreciate everybody coming out their pocket for real. So, hope y'all enjoyed the content. I hope y'all just know that this scene retention shit is a, it's all mental. And for the people that don't believe in counting their fucking days, man. Count up, bro. Count up. Count the fuck up. Count them days, bro. Hold yourself accountable. You relapsed yesterday. Today's day motherfucking one. Not you been on this shit for a couple months. Today is day one, nigga. Tomorrow is day two. That's how we doing it. That's how you supposed to do it. Hold yourself. I don't give a fuck how hard it is, nigga. Life is hard, nigga. Life is hard, bro. You a man. Let's fucking get it, you heard? Salute all my new G's, my day one G's. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all fucking day. And... You know what I'm saying? Take control of your mental as a man, you heard? I'm out of here. Salute. Y'all yeah, probably wondering, I'm on my way to get this chopped cheese. I forgot a clip while I was walking to the crib. I'm going to finish. I'm going to upload this shit when I get back to the crib, eating my food and shit. But listen, the reason why I mentioned water is because a lot of, most of the time, because people don't drink enough water and have enough water in their diet, what really be going on is that they be dehydrated. So if you feel demotivated and all that shit, it's most likely because you're dehydrated. Get yourself hydrated. Stop drinking so much juice and soda and all that bullshit and drink you a gallon of water a day. You're going to feel a lot better. Your body needs a lot of water, G. So drink that water, bro, and you're going to feel better.